All right, right here we got a 1999 Ford F-250. This is a XLT truck. It's a 7.3 liter diesel, power stroke, and it's got a six speed manual in it. Holy smoke. Anyways, mm -hmm. it's uh, just a hair over 400,000 miles. 401 and some change. And this truck runs and drives like it might have 150 on it. It's in super good shape. Uh, we're selling it for a local owner. We're just gonna do a quick uh, condition rundown. Sorry about the sun. It's windy and sunny, so bear with me here. So I got the factory 16 inch wheels on it. Some uh, clear coat erosion on the edges of the hood here on the top. The paint's in good shape, it just like clear coats kind of almost looks like water drops. That's what we call it environmental erosion. Front bumper, there's a dent in it right there. It's not that big, probably looks bigger in the video than it is, but it is there. It's got stock headlights. As far as I can tell, this truck's all stock. Some scratch there. Got this red paint. I've had several uh, of these with the red paint. It always seems to peel. The tops of the doors and stuff. A little on the hood. It's just a little cap cap there. I feel like all these Super Duties are. Or it's actually the class action lawsuit for the quality of their roofs. any issues I don't really think it's gonna matter what kind of roof you have if you're gonna do a rollover the trim's coming off there a little bit this cap corner is in great shape the other cap corner's got a little rust on it that's just dirt I don't know if you can see that but that's not rust no bubbles there but you gotta see the rocker panel there uh, let's see if I can open the door I can't open this door so the bottom of this door uh, clearly can come out but the top of it is it moving when I'm pulling the handle? So I'm thinking there's a cable in here. There's two cables. One goes to the bottom and one goes to the top. And I'm thinking the cable at the top's either broke at the top or disconnected here at the handle. Um, but that would have to be fixed to open this little side door here. But anyways, here's the rocker panel. Bottom of the door. Crazy good shape for one of these this age. Normally they're just rusted out. Even if they're Tennessee trucks, there's a little spot of clear the size of my fingernail coming off um, no rust over the wheels just some like real minor like just hair scratches also there's a little like mold on the paint where it just could stand to be washed uh, a little deeper uh, just some rock chips and such see the exhaust tip all around tail light looks good doesn't look like it has any cracks in it the rear bumper looks real good scratches on it from what I can tell uh, there's a couple dents in the tailgate you can see one right here one right here a couple scratches here that are a little noticeable the rest of it's not too bad there's a little peck in the paint I mean, it's very very small stuff on the tailgate uh, open, opens like it should there's the bottom of it it's got a little corrosion in there nothing major of course it's got a looks like a dura liner in it uh, see under the bed here there's no ball no holes for a ball i don't think this truck's done much work. it's like entire life it's one of the better ones i've seen cleaner ones i've seen a little scratch there just trying to see if i can get a i can't use my finger so you know kind of the size of the reference some paint's peeling off there. It's not rust. That's actually from rock chips from uh, just the tire, I guess, throwing rocks up. There's in the wheel well. There's your bed supports. They show a little corrosion, nothing major. <clears throat> I 
Again, there's no rust or bubbles over the wheels, nothing like that. So. My little cab cap's missing here. Uh, it does look like there's a little dent in the bottom of the cab right there at the bottom of the, the window. You can see kind of one of the trims is a little bit. I don't think it'd be anything that would leak. Just want to point that out. It's part of the purpose of a condition. You know, these mirrors look like they're in good shape. Spot of rust. This is its biggest flaw right here. So you can see about the size of my thumb, a little bigger maybe. Um, rust and bubbles do kind of go over towards the cap corner, but I mean that could be cut out and filled and fixed. It's not rusty down here. That is uh, like mold, just a green tree mold. But they're bad about this right here. I don't know what the deal is. Um, I think I can open this side and show you. So the bottom of this door's got a little bit. A little bit of cancer right there. Nothing that's showing through on the other side. Rockers are in good shape, especially if we're still having the step on them. Step bars. Lose your back door. No rest in the back door, but that cab corner has rest in it. Go figure. But you can see the rockers are straight. <clears throat> Not sure what the deal is with that cab. Looks like there's some scratches or something here. Nothing major, just little stuff. So, it's inside that wheel well. Let me get underneath here. Doesn't appear to leak anything on the ground. So that's good. Only gotten in two of the wheel wells, so I'm gonna get the other wheel wells for you. While we're here, just gotta look everything over. Don't have potential buyers. Really see what they're getting here. It's so clean. see it much but I've got the phone under here so hopefully you can see it kind of get a good visual for the cab the frame and stuff it all looks pretty good to me yeah from what I'm seeing in this wheel well now No restrictions in the exhaust, so it's just straight piped. Okay, got all four wheel wells. Get under the back here. No wheel cylinders, nothing like that leaking. So. Again, this door opens this little side half door, but the other side does not. It's just a little cable. Headliner's good and clean. 
There's some extra boxes, like the air box, just some random parts, uh, the owners included with the, the vehicle here. It looks dirty in the video here, but it's not. In person, it's really not. That little mat covers up anything. I'm not sure how to flip this seat up. I know it comes up, there it goes. You can kind of see underneath it there. That mat's got some stains in it, but it's a factory mat. So. See the shifters. Seats. Gosh, these seats are in crazy good shape. Pull that top down. That top's not even cracked. There's some registration information. I have to get out of there. Let me sell it. Headliner looks like it's got some pins in it there. With the driver, the driver's side. So, there's your miles, 401298. That's legit. Uh, man, this thing again, it runs like it has 150,000 miles. It's just an XLT, so there's not a lot of extras to look at in here. To me, that's the best way to have it. Less technology means less to break, especially on these older trucks. 23 years old. Ford's the best though for not just not really having any issues. So we'll try to get it from this side. I can't open this door, so it's gonna be difficult for me to get the video, but I'll do the best I can here. Again, the seats are just in remarkable shape. We have not detailed this truck. It came in like this because this is a consignment vehicle. The, this is pretty much how the owner kept it, I guess, brought it to us. If uh, if we had issues with wanting to get the, say, the carpet reupholstered, or the, or the seats reupholstered, or get the carpet shampooed, we could do that stuff um, here on site at an extra cost. It still has an ashtray. Some people like leather and stuff in these. We can always get that stuff done. Let's start this truck up. Manual seats. It does have an aftermarket brake box there. Uh, manual climate control. Looks like a aftermarket Pioneer radio. <laughs> Horn works. Cruise control, which is cool on a five speed or six speed. Yeah. Let's see if it'll start up here. Put it in neutral. <laughs> Oh man. don't work you can still lock it and unlock it you just have to do it manually it's pretty common in these older super duties they changed it in 2002 i know 99 and 2001 had a lot of issues with lock actuators here's our engine the belt's got a little chirp to it there's why the air box is Back seat. I think it's kind of cold air filter. It's like Kaden. <laughs> Oh, you look at that ball. 
again, this is a 99 Ford F-250. We actually got this truck priced at 10.9 right now because the seller's ready to move it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, it's stock number C7130. 99 Ford F-250 Super Cab, four wheel drive. Uh, it's a six speed manual with a four by four stick in the floor. Uh, 401, 285 on the miles. Again, we're asking 10.995. Hey, thanks for watching.